The next icon which we can do is this Stux icon. So paste our shape, move it next to the Stux icon, and because we want to draw those shapes quite precisely and well aligned, it may be a good idea to show the grid lines and move this shape to snap to the grid lines. So we will hide the grid lines for a while, zoom in as much as we can, insert new shapes and that will be freeform and start drawing that is clicking star something here no click maybe like this to match the shape somehow don't end just here but go down here and finish it by clicking on the first point now what we want to do is to move it to the right Set the line to no outline for now, show the grid lines and make sure that it's perfectly aligned. So right now I can see that it's not. So it may be a good idea to select format, edit points and move those points around to snap to the grid properly. Just like this. Okay, so with this shape we want to have this shape used for the saddle gradient, but we want to have another shape only for the top line. So we will copy paste this shape, move it more to the top, select one more time edit points, click on this point, right click, select open path, delete this point, this point, and this point. And it's kind of looking weird, but it is because we have the fill still defined. So if we change the fill to no fill, line to solid line you can see it's it somehow forming what we want so i will move this down here maybe high degree lines change the outline to white maybe a little bit thicker and for this shape i will change the fill to gradient fill and set it from the white color to white color but the second one will be transparent, so raise the transparency to 100%. And the first one will be a little bit transparent, so I don't know, maybe like 50 or so. You can adjust the angle a little bit, so it's you know, a little bit tilted, maybe 85 degrees should be fine. So this is our base. Now we want to have... It's not working very well. Now we want to have those four or five five lines one will be blue so insert first show the grid lines insert new line around here hide the grid lines and duplicate this should be here duplicate this line five times As usual, only the first and the last should be on the right spot. So select all lines, align them to the top, and distribute horizontally. Maybe show the lines and move it to the right spot, just like here. Okay, set the fill uh, line color to white, but make it a little bit transparent, I don't know, maybe 50 or so, maybe 0.75 points, and select the second line, set the color to blue, maybe this one, transparency to zero, now insert new circle, Change the fill to blue and the outline to black. Move it to the right spot. And the last thing which we need to do is to adjust the size of those two lines on the left and on the right. So if we select the first and the last line, group it together, we can adjust it at the same time. maybe move this around a little bit you know to match the graph top and bottom points I think that this is just about fine so the last thing which we need to do 
just to group everything together. Rename it to Stux icon and move it to the first page. <coughs> 